Hello, sacred souls. It's Susanna from Alemanic Shaman. What I have here for us tonight is feeling worthy of receiving abundance and uh, worthy to deserve abundance and a great life. And um, there are a few things that I was guided to that I want to share with you. Um, the first part is a follow-up to the ceremony from two days ago where the person is in a situation of verbal, emotional, mental abuse, um, like in his living situation. And um, when I moved the tray into the shower overnight, right, because I didn't want to keep it burning right where I have my setup, um, or where it is set up, uh, the white candle fell over, it tipped over and spilled a bunch of wax and I managed to like put it straight up again very quickly and just, it kept burning. It was fine. But, um, I did notice that some of the wax went onto a bottle. So there is still a lot of darkness, a lot of hurt, pain and suffering inside that needs to be released. And um, I didn't get a chance to pick up some dark paint to actually smash a bottle with that. Hopefully I will in the next few days. Um, I did do that quite a while ago. It's in one of my videos, but um, I'll redo it because when those kind of energies come up, it's like it needs to be done again, right? Um, but in the meantime, if you want to look for that old video, then, you know, or you could even like do that yourself if you want. Just make sure that you just release the energies and banish those dark energies away. Like you don't want to mess with the, the living person directly, just with the energies and the darkness, and if there are any dark entities, and so on, right? Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm going to do one soon on that. So the white candle got knocked over, and um, the skeleton was also completely knocked down off the tray, face down. So that means there's still, like... Um, that person is still being like knocked down by all the stuff that's happening. And so the abuse is still getting him down and he's not in his strength, right? And then I actually have an extension cord in my bathroom and what caught my eye was where it was plugged in. There was a cord kind of wrapped around it like a circle meaning that the connection is still there and that's why this these abusive energies are still continuing to knock the person down and again i don't know exactly what the situation is and quite frankly i don't like to feel into other people's energies really i just deal with what comes to me because those are energies that are voluntarily offering themselves to me to be released rather than me being invasive and digging into someone else's energy field, right? So um, that's why I'm saying like I don't know exactly what the situation is because I don't want to go into something that you know I'm not being offered so let, let's put it that way okay now that's the one thing and then I woke up with the message of what needs to be healed is the worthiness to deserve abundance and I had to scribble it on a piece of paper on top of other stuff so I just kind of cut that off see I just kind of scribbled it on here um, but then today 
<laughs> in one of those community pantries that whenever I pass one, I check to see if I can find anything that I like. What I found there today is completely from my childhood and this is German. So <laughs> this is an absolute sign and there's a story behind it and it's like, whoa. So basically this is red cabbage with apple, which is exactly how my mom used to cook it. And that's how I would cook it too. Um, we used to put cloves in there as well. Um, but this company, Hengstenberg, is from my region. It's a really good company that makes a lot of like great, very typical food. And my mom's best friend's husband works or worked. Yeah, I would imagine he's retired now. Um, he used to work for this company. He was one of their like top chefs. And there's a story when I was a kid that, um, so basically, well, my parents were friends with their parents, but it's like the women were closer. The men would play soccer together, but I don't think they hung out a lot other than that. Um, but they had three sons that I was close to. The, the older son was exactly my age and the twins were, I think, three years younger. And I often played with them as well. So like, um, when I was like in daycare, daycare up until elementary school age, like they were my closest friends basically as a kid. Right. So their dad used, um, one day took his three sons and me to the grocery store, bought them ice cream, but not me. So. I, I was so small. I must have been maybe three, oh no, maybe four or five. I don't know because I guess the younger ones were already old enough to eat it. Or me, oh, sorry, now I'm remembering. No, it was just the son and me. The other ones were too small still, I guess. Anyway, sorry, I just know that I was small enough that I don't have the memory directly myself. But my mom kept telling me the story. So I came home really upset that he bought his son ice cream, but not me. And she went a little bit ballistic, I guess. Um, and, you know, was really upset, talked to her best friend about how horrible her husband was to not get me ice cream as well. Because whenever you know, she would take out the kids, every child would get the same and equally, right? And the same for her friends. Like, um, he just didn't do that. So, um, his wife apologized and, you know, like apparently like countless times. And of course she had a verbal fight with him. And I don't know if my dad knew about it, but if so, he would have said quite a bit too. So anyhow, like after that, he never did that again. Like he always made sure after that, that I would also get some. Um, but the, the bottom line is that I was left out and clearly I must have felt unworthy on some level that I didn't deserve to get ice cream as a kid, whereas his son deserved to get it, right? Now, this was only a one-time occurrence with those neighbors. Um, but I'm sure there were like other situations within my family. And um, in many families, at some point, there, was, there, there were situations, let's say, where maybe we didn't feel quite worthy of like receiving the best. Let's say maybe, maybe if our parents didn't have a lot of money and they couldn't afford to buy us what we wanted or anything like that, right? So there are many situations that can give us the message when we're children that we're not good enough or we're not worthy of deserving the best or to of deserving equal as others or anything like that, right? So that will then cause one of those wounds where we don't feel worthy of actually deserving the best, right? 
Um, and sorry, as I was just talking about this, I got a little distracted because I forgot to explain something. So here, um, when I'm lifting it, I have to be careful because this one keeps like, see, yeah, <laughs> now you know why I have to be careful, but it's okay. Right now I need to explain this. So when I first saw when this candle was burnt down, how this looked, um, I was a little further away and it was out of focus and this, let me, whoa, 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 let me just move this. Just move all this stuff off so that I can safely show you. Okay, so this to me looked like a skull and since the top part was much bigger, I felt like it was one of those alien skulls and here I felt it was a dark spirit coming out of that circle, out of the aura, the radiation or what was radiating off of this alien skull. Uh, and that was the dark banishing candle that had burnt down, right? And here the, something else seems to want to come out almost, not sure exactly if it's a mother figure, but some kind of caring, yeah, it, it, like a, a caregiving figure in here that would be the child. Um, but then with the yellow here and the darker parts, I felt that it was still sort of that toxicity radiating out from this dark, abusive person's energies that, um, based on the alien skull sense I was getting, um, seems to have a lot of reptilian, still like dark reptilian survival energies in her. And again, like a lot of this is also because of abuse that she must have experienced as a child and so on, right? So whenever people are abusive, it's because of what they've experienced. Um, so that is still very much influencing the person that I've, I've done that ceremony for. And um, here that's... And it's interesting because that's like a hair that still connected it, but it, it almost felt like it was like a moon, right? Like, um, let's say the sickle of a moon. So moon energy. Ah, sorry, that's just coming to me now. So it's like the moon energy is actually very healing. And there it's interesting too, because in different cultures, the moon energy is also considered differently because in German, der Mond is masculine. Like it's a masculine article that we use in the German language. Whereas for example, in Spanish, it would be feminine. Um, <laughs> my Spanish is getting rusty. La Luna. <laughs> I had to think there for a second. I knew it was Loon something, but yeah, La Luna. I'm okay. I'm 98% certain here. Okay. Um, forgive me. It's like my Spanish, like I studied Spanish like over 20 years ago. So it was a long time ago. Anyway. Um, so there's still, um, a lot of that toxic influence, but the moon energy can also help heal, right? So let's say if you can find time, especially when, it, when there's a full moon to actually be in the moonlight, that can be very healing, right? Um, okay, so let me put this back down because I actually want to get to the ceremony part. And I think I've done all the, the pre-explanations of what's been going on. Hang on. This skull is a little tricky to... Yeah, got it. Okay, that works. Okay, I think that's everything. So let's smudge and get started. Oh, and I got to light this candle too. Oh, 
but it's okay I can actually light it from this because it's just this one's almost burnt down so we're gonna have to continue and then I'll transfer it onto a bigger tray it's just I didn't have that much space I wanted to ah yes and also feeling safe and sound helps us feel more worthy right so it's like healing the inner child and also like the self-care that we do now that also helps our inner child heal and that way we also feel more safe right because um, a lot of times when there was a lot of abuse then uh, we're in fight or flight mode and that's like f constantly feeling attacked even if maybe the person didn't necessarily mean it, right? But that's what's still there. And um, actually, I will share one more situation with you that just popped into my head. So a few years ago, I was telling my dad, because um, I'm quite sensitive when it comes to smells and... Um, I used to live in one apartment where the landlord sprayed for, like, they sprayed an insecticide without telling me before I moved in. So after I moved in, I was constantly asthmatic, right? I was really not doing well. So bit by bit, I had to paint over every inch of the walls and ceilings and everything, right? To cover up that smell that was still there that was giving me trouble. And I was telling my dad, like really in detail and try to help him understand and whatever because I mean he didn't really experience that part of me that much right so um and since he was already older too it's like I wanted to make sure he got it right so I spent a good chunk of time in our phone conversation telling him and then, you know, but also telling him how it was challenging because I wasn't feeling great, but I still had to paint and so on. And at the end, he's like, well, why are you painting? And I'm like, dad, I just told you in length and detail, like, why? And he took that really the wrong way. Like, I lost a little bit my patience with him, but, like, I wasn't really upset with him, but I was just like, come on. And he felt really attacked and got very nasty after that, right? So that's the kind of reaction from someone who still has very unhealed childhood wounds, right? So... um that's what people are dealing with when they're still either exposed to the abuse or newly out of it or even if it's been a while but they are they they haven't really f finished healing enough to get to a place of inner safety right so feeling safe and sound is also a part of taking our self-worth back because um, when we were attacked as children and this could be verbal attacks right or like in my dad's case he was a child during world war ii so bombs were dropping when he was a little kid and he was raised by a single mom who you know was completely overwhelmed raising three boys on her own and she beat him and his brothers every day I'm not excusing it. I think it was terrible and I know it damaged them, but um, that kind of explains why even in his old age, he still easily felt attacked, right? Because he had a lot of unhealed stuff still in him. So um, when we understand something, it's a little bit easier to to have compassion, right? And understanding and and realize that everyone is just human right and yeah everybody carries their bundle around with them basically all right so in the meantime we got lots of 
um, sage smoke going. So let's smudge. Please cleanse, clear, and renew all of our energies and reconnect us to our inner pure divine love light energy and reactivate it and transmute any and all energies that aren't of that pure divine bliss energy anything unhealed any pain any suffering any darkness shall be transmuted into pure divine love light energy and so it is thank you danke schön all my relations Okay, dear creator, higher power, source and soul energy, our higher selves, our higher spirit guides of the light, our ancestors that are in the light, dear mother earth, powers of all four directions, powers of the east, powers of the south, powers of the west, powers of the north, powers of all four elements, air, earth, fire and water and all other benevolent powers, forces, spirits, and beings of the universe and multiverse that are of the light, please join the ceremony and assist the healings, prayers, and protection with all of your powers. Thank you. Please close the circle of protection around us. Thank you. Okay, I'm actually being guided to bring in the doll as well for a little bit more inner child healing. Let me just move that down so you can still see this. Okay, there we go. Really nice. Okay, with the lighting of this candle. Let our divine light be fully and completely reactivated, reignited, and strengthened within us, and let it spread, let it grow and spread through every fiber of our being in all aspects, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, energetically, and through our emotional body. Oh yeah, I did say emotionally. <laughs> and karmically, throughout all of time and space, <clears throat> throughout all lifetimes, timelines, parallel and alternate realms, realities, multi and universes, and any and all other aspects that affect us in this lifetime and moving forward. And... We shall take our voice back from all these abusive situations and energies. We call back our power, our energy, our strength, and our voice. We call back our self-worth, our self-respect, <clears throat> our self-love. and our self-confidence and this dark spirit shall be gone see i removed the head of that dark spirit and this one well let me see if i can do that with the knife and the dark alien influence from that abuser shall be removed as well face down and be gone from our lives and all of their let me just move this over here sorry and all of their toxic radiating abuse that radiates out of them shall be removed and burnt 
Ah, okay. So we're actually going to burn that in this candle. We're using our light to burn away and transmute their darkness that comes out of pain. So with the help of the divine and all of our spirit guides, whoa, okay, stay strong. We are burning and transmuting all that darkness, all that toxicity so that peace, love and harmony can re-enter. And we can feel safe, shielded, and protected. We can be safe and sound. And that we can also sleep safe and sound without having to worry about any dream invasions. Some of these dark ones like to work that way. Sorry, this is taking a while, but it's important. Ooh, this was a close call. Almost put out the light. Okay. So I'll go easy. Put a piece here. Okay. Almost there. Once the big stuff is done, I can do, oh no, okay, all right, that's fine, I'll repair that. I was not paying enough attention there, my apologies, but that's okay, we're getting extra strength from the divine. Our light shall be relit, and we are fine. Feel like this all needs to be burnt away right away. It cannot wait until the next fire. Not sure when that's gonna be. Today was a little bit of a colder day, so um, I thought it was better to wait. Plus, I also wanted to finish this part here. Oh, okay, this is almost done. Here's a little bit more. That's pretty much yeah, most of it. All right. And what's just coming to me is also this whole dynamic of um, karmic love when you know people fall in love easily but then they also fall out of love and it's basically because they don't love themselves so they they try to get that inner happiness through someone else rather than within themselves first and then sharing that with someone right so it's this sort of desperate loneliness that creates all these toxic behaviors and patterns and energies and it's really all just hurt pain and suffering inside but until the person is ready, able, and willing to do their healing work, it's really hard because if they don't want to heal, then there's nothing you can do. They're not going to change, right? So what we need to do is make sure that we're okay. And... Um, I just listened to something from Wayne Dyer today where he talked about healthy selfishness versus toxic selfishness, right? So 
um, healthy selfishness is basically self-care, right? He just worded it that way. Um, but just like when you put the oxygen mask in an airplane on the adult first, like on yourself first, and then on the child, that's actually the right thing to do because if you're not okay you can't help anything or anyone else after that right so when you're healthy and you're in a good place then you can truly help others without depleting yourself right so yeah okay so these three bigger pieces i'm gonna leave out for now i'll feed them to that little fire later um, or in the worst case, maybe over here. Because they need to burn, but I don't want to overfeed this little candle because otherwise it's going to go out again. But, yeah. Okay, so let me put this down. Let, let our inner child continue healing more and more with every day that goes by and feel more and more safe, shielded and protected, more and more loved unconditionally and know that there is nothing and no one that can hurt us. We are safe and whatever other people are doing is because of their own hurt, pain and suffering. They're lashing out because they feel hurt and they don't know how to behave in a healthier, less destructive way. It has nothing to do with us. That's their damage, their dysfunction. And we're no longer taking that on. That is not ours. We refuse to take that on. Return to sender, access denied, instant karma, love and light. And so it is. Thank you, danke schön, all my relations. Okay. just popped into my head is the line from the Bible where Jesus said father forgive them for they do not know what they're doing so we bless all those that have wronged us by being abusive we bless those with love send them love and light and forgiveness and release them from our lives freeing all of us for all eternity and so it is from these karmic bonds and shackles and chains and so it is all my relations oh, and I now call in all of our blessings our abundance our joy happiness good luck prosperity and anything else that was not able to come into our lives because all these other energies were blocking us. The path shall now be cleared and we shall be open to receive all the blessings the universe, multiverse has to offer us. Thank you, danke schön, all my relations. Ooh. 
Okay, let the ceremony now be finished. Please open the circle of protection around us, but keep us strongly safe, shielded, and protected, and accept our love, thanks, gratitude, and blessings. Thank you. Dankeschön, all my relations, all our relations. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching, for being a part of this ceremony, and for being on your own healing and ascension journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I'm also sending you tons of love, light and blessings. Be well until next time and I wish you great abundance. Bye.